What's up guys, Burley here. Uh, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Bear Down Adventure uh, playthrough. Today, I want to take some time to explain a little bit about this mod, why I decided to play it, all the cool features they have. And uh, first off though, I was re-watching the first episode of this series earlier this morning. There was a part of that video where I realized I had forgotten my furnace, but I couldn't find it. And I think the reason I couldn't find it is because it was all the way at the bottom. I thought it was above this gravel. I, I think looking, rewinding the tape, it was actually below it. Yep, here it is. Nice. 25 iron. So once we get back up to the surface, I'll start to explain some features of this mod. But I want to start off by talking about some things that are not in this mod. Because this is a mod for the beta version of Minecraft, which was released over 10 years ago at this point. So there are a lot of things that you probably think are standard in Minecraft, but just aren't here yet. For example, uh, after experimenting yesterday, the, the four main mobs in Minecraft are like cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens, right? And in modern Minecraft, they all drop various food sources. But in this version, the only one of those four mobs to drop any food are pigs, who drop pork chop. Sheep only drop wool, chickens only drop feathers, and cow only drops leather. Also, we have the old gravel texture. There's also, like, no sprinting. I'm trying to double tap right now, it's not working. Uh, if I go over here, I'm guessing this poppy will not be called a poppy and it's be called a rose. Yep. And these are just flowers, right? Oh, these are dandelions, okay. If I go over here into the water, you know how, like, modern Minecraft is with, like, the nice, cool, fast water swimming? None of that here. As you can also see, with uh, the bubbles, I don't have to spend a bunch of time out of water to go back in. Uh, a lot of like biomes aren't in the game yet, like there's no jungles I'm pretty sure. There's no like advanced mobs, I don't think there's endermen yet, there's no villages, no structures really. Spam click PvP, that's what's in here, which I like more than 1.9 PvP, I'm sure you can tell if you've been watching this channel. And uh, also the old food system, where you don't have hunger and instead Food just kind of heals you up fully, but you can't stack food either. Which, I kind of like this system. It kind of like soup PvP, if you guys know what that is. Now, I want to talk about some things they added into the game. First thing that you probably mentioned, you know, what is this block? This is actually granite. So, they didn't have granite in the original beta Minecraft. They just had stone. But this mod pack adds in granite along with a bunch of other types of stone, which I'm sure I'll be able to find as I explore during this playthrough. I think they have like limestone. I think they have marble. Also as you can tell these are green chests. That's because instead of specific tree types like oak, birch, jungle, acacia, cherry, I'm pretty sure the log types are still named after different trees but the woods are all just different colors. There's 16 colors of wood planks just like how there are 16 different colors of wool. I'm not sure if you'll be able to uh, die wood. I, I'm going to try real quick. No, it doesn't seem you can be able to. Another really cool thing about this mod that I like is that they kind of revamped the armor system. So you know how in modern Minecraft armor works. It's kind of like a linear progressive sis progression system. You start. You can make leather armor if you want, but then you just kind of go on for iron. And then when you get diamonds, you can make diamond armor. And then in newer versions, you can make netherite armor. In this version, there is no one armor that is the best. As you can see, I'm wearing full leather armor right now. And has a bunch of different attributes with combat, blast, fall damage, and fire. So even though it kind of sucks as like protecting against combat damage or blast uh, damage, it's really good at fall damage. If I build up here, I bet I won't take the, a, bunch of a bunch of damage if I jump off. Ooh. Yeah, see? There's a half hard damage. I'm pretty sure because of how overused iron armor is in modern Minecraft, they kind of purposely made iron armor the worst. Because it doesn't really excel at any one good thing. It's not super good at fall damage like leather is. It's not super good at fire anything. In fact, I think gold armor, which I'm going to get later in the playthrough, actually has a better base stats like across the board than iron. But the plus sides to iron armor in this version is that it's super durable. If you look down here, it has the armor bars like you would see in normal Minecraft. This does not mean I have nine and a half, like, protections of armor. This is showing the durability of my armor. 
So because it's like a little damage, it loses a little bit of their ability. As for the other armor in the game, I think Chainmail is really good against combat. I think uh, Diamond Armor is really good against fire. And they also added a new type of material called Steel, which is really good against Blast. Steel is kind of this mod's version of Netherite. In order to get Steel, you have to travel to the Nether and make a special like Nether Furnace. And then smelt normal iron ingots in the steel. And then you can craft everything of it. I think that's a cool idea. I think it's a lot better than how Netherite works in uh, modern Minecraft. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to smelt up a bunch of uh, pork chops so I can get food. And I'm going to head down into the caves to see if I can try to find more custom mobs. Custom, not custom mobs. There's not a lot of custom mobs in this. Like custom blocks. Uh, new items, and there's a bunch of stuff like that. Oh, as you can see here, there's this uh, item called Cloth. Cloth is what zombies drop in this version. They don't drop feathers like they do in normal beta Minecraft. And what Cloth is useful for is you can... They're involved in the bed crafting recipe in this version. They changed it so you need cloth and wool instead of just wool. So in order to be able to sleep, you need to actually go out and fight some mobs, which I think is a good change. And then the only other uh, custom item here is chain links, which I'm not exactly sure what they actually do. I've tried to make armor with them because you would think, oh, you can make chainmail armor, but as you can see there, it doesn't really work. Some other cool things this mod adds in are new-ish biomes. Some of them are already in modern versions of Minecraft, but they were like poured over to beta. So they have like their own version of a Badlands biome with like red sand. Uh, I think there's like dead bushes there and stuff too. Oh, another thing about this mod that I really like is that you've probably noticed in the, where the, in the FJ section, there's only FPS. It doesn't show my coordinates, it doesn't show time of day, nothing like that. That is because in this version of Minecraft, in this mod pack, in order to see your coordinates and stuff, you have to actually go and craft a compass. And then in order to see a time of day, you have to craft a clock and then have those items in your inventory. Then it will be over in the top right corner. I really like that change and actually encourages people to make those items. Because let's be real, those items are pretty useless in all versions of Minecraft. No one ever, ever really makes them. They've been in the game for so long, but they have no purpose because you can just hit F3. But in this game, in order to hit F3, you have to have them in your inventory. The reason I think this mod pack is so cool and why I'm trying to play it is that they have a bunch of like, uh, not necessarily quality of life, but just interesting changes that uh, slightly shake up how the game is played. Oh, they also add in the raw iron ore, raw gold ore in this version. I'm assuming you can't enchant stuff in this yet, I'm pretty sure, but they're probably going to eventually add an enchant in. So that's to make like fortune and silk touch more consistent, which uh, as much as I hate the textures for raw iron and raw gold, I completely understand why they're doing that. Like, I just wish they looked better. Oh, there are like these blocks too, which I've been finding, which are just like mossy stone. Actually, they do have mossy cobblestone in a uh, fine version of Minecraft, but this is like a different texture. They spawn just randomly in caves. It doesn't work how mossy cobblestone works in Fire Minecraft or in like dungeons and stuff. Right, I'm gonna try to find my way out of this cave. I'm trying to explore a little bit of the uh, spawn area I was in, see if I can remember more things. Spawn right on me. What the hell? <laughs> the zombies keep spawning on me. I don't get this. This is a little weird part of the mod. Is it because there's monsters around?
Something you might have noticed is that a lot of mobs have like different color variations. Pigs will like sometimes have spots on them. Cows will be like have their black and white switch and then they'll be brown. Chickens will be white, gray, brown, red. And then zombies have like different colored shirts. Uh, I think it's an alright change. I think I saw some people disliking it because it feels too like modern. Which people really don't want this mod to be too updated, too flashy. They prefer the simplicity of old Minecraft which is why this mod has been getting so much traction recently. I understand that I think but I think there's a sudden in the like options where you can turn it off. So you don't have to deal with all the kind of new custom textures for mobs if you don't want to. There's so much iron. I always forget how much iron there is in Minecraft in general. It's a really common resource. Spider jockey. Oh, there's quivers. I'm not sure how you craft them. Minecraft was gonna add in quivers on like two separate occasions. One time in like beta Minecraft and the other time for the combat update and both times they were scrapped. But they made the textures for them and this game just took them and lets you use them. I also think there's golden quivers which are like special quivers that essentially let you uh, have an infinity bow because there's no enchants yet. There's flags which I think I actually have the materials to make. I'm just trying to get up to the surface to make them. Flags are kind of like this version's uh, banners. You can customize them, you can like draw on them. Uh, they're pretty cool. I saw them in the trailer, I think. I'll try to mess around with them at the end of this video. There's a snow biome, which I might mention earlier. And there's these custom structures that spawn there that have like hostile snowmen in them. Not like snow golems. When I saw they're kind of like reskinned zombies. I think they shoot snowballs at you. I also think if you do those dungeons, you can get ice skates in them. That could be a challenge for this series, trying to find the snow dungeon. I'm going to try to head up the surface, hopefully it's daytime by now. And uh, I'll see if I can make a flag. And then I'll probably end this video. I'm like going to try to record four of these in a row, one after the other, right now. So, I still got like three more sessions of this to do, so I don't want to do too much in this video. Ooh, an egg. Is there cake in this? I'm not sure. I think in the next video, I'll be to make an actual base because I can't just sleep randomly in random places around the world because then they'll spawn those zombies on me. You need three sticks and then four pieces of cloth and there we have a flag. What you need to do to customize them is you need to get some dye out. I think I have bones somewhere too. Right? Yeah. And you just put them down and you can click on them and then you can put, you know, the dye in these three slots and you can just, you know, draw. Make your own custom designs. Uh, and the way I undo. Help me! Okay, cool. How do you deselect these? Oh, with the number keys. You hit them with the number keys. Oh, I, under I completely understand now. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure that did. That's the flags. I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, now it's the Better Than Adventure mod. As I continue to play this series, I'll see more cool stuff to show off to you guys. So see you in the next video.